पॉलिट्रॉपिक प्रोसेसेस आर द मोस्ट जनरल प्रोसेसेस इन अ पॉलिट्रॉपिक प्रोसेस जस्ट लाइक द एडियाबैटिक प्रोसेस वी हैव समथिंग सिमिलर टू इट एज पी वी टू द पार के अ कॉन्स्टेंट इन एन एडियाबैटिक प्रोसेस दिस के गेट्स रिप्लेस विथ द गामा Holding this, we also have T v to the power k minus one as constant. Also, we have T to the power k into p to the power one minus k. This also as a constant. All of these come from the equation of state. You just need to replace p and v with the suitable values, which is n r t by v or n r t by p. Let us now look at the thermodynamic equation. First law of thermodynamics, which is nothing but Q equal to W plus delta U. Now you have this. What you need to do is find out W separately, find out delta U separately, and in totality find out what is the molar heat capacity for a process which is polytropic let us do this for w you know that you need to evaluate this integral p here can be written as that constant divided by v to the power k so that constant can be taken out of the integral and what you really need to integrate is dv by v to the power k from vi to vf this integral will give you the value as c by 1 minus k vf to the power minus k plus 1 minus vi आई टू द पार माइनस के प्लस वन यू कैन इजिली वेरीफाई दिस बाई इवेल्यूएटिंग दिस इंटीग्रल वी ऑल्सो न्यू दैट पी वी टू द पार के इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट विच इज सी सो वी कैन राइट पी आई वी आई टू द पार के बिंग इक्वल टू पी एफ वी एफ टू द पार के दिस इज इन जनरल ट्रू एंड दिस क्वांटिटी इज इक्वल टू सी so you can directly replace c with these quantities and get certain values let's say when c gets multiplied with this i replace c with pf vf to the power k so i get w as pf vf to the power k times vf to the power minus k plus 1 for the first term and for the second term let's say i replace c with pi vi to the power k so i get pi v i to the power k times v i to the power minus k plus 1 this entire thing gets divided with 1 minus k so you see vf to the power k and vf to the power minus k get cancelled and you you are left with pf vf minus pi pi this divided by 1 minus k so this is the work done by the system what is the internal energy change internal energy change is nothing but n cv delta t or n cv tf minus ti pf vf can also be written as nr tf and pi vi can also be written as nr ti now we will use that and combine delta u and w in order to get q to get q we are combining them in such a fashion we are getting nr tf minus ti by 1 minus k from the work expression and ncv tf minus ti from the internal energy expression this part gives me nr delta t this part gives me 
n c v delta t and c v can be replaced with r by gamma minus 1. So, we are left with n r delta t by 1 minus k plus n r by gamma minus 1 delta t. So, n r delta t by gamma minus 1. So, this is going to be equal to n r delta t 1 by 1 minus k plus 1 by gamma minus 1. For one mole, we will be having r delta t into this quantity. And we know that dq by dt for one mole is nothing but the molar heat capacity. So, molar heat capacity can be determined from this expression and that is going to be dq by dt. If you replace delta t with dt and q with dq and n with uh, replaced uh, with 1, we are left with r by 1 minus k plus r by gamma minus 1. This is the general expression for the molar heat capacity for a process and that process is a polytropic process. Note that in this expression k cannot be equal to 1. So, this expression is invalid for an isothermal process. For an isothermal process, this does get reduced to r by gamma minus 1 which is Cv, sorry, for an isothermal process, u becomes equal to 0. So, this expression does not have any meaning for that. In an isothermal expression, q becomes equal to w and depending on w, the molar heat capacity will change. So, this expression is valid only for values of k, where k is not equal to 1. Next, let's, we, let's come to the efficiency of a cycle. The efficiency of a cycle is a very useful quantity in any thermodynamic system and engineering because this is what determines how efficiently a system of you of yours is working higher the efficiency higher the amount of output or higher the amount of profits you are going to make from that system this is defined by a symbol known as eta this is nothing but the work done in totality divided by the heat that is supplied to the system. This into 100 percent will give us the percentage efficiency. By work done net, we mean the total work which is getting done on the system or by the system in totality. So, all negative and positive work get added in this expression. For the Q supplied, you will consider only the positive Q which you are supplying to the system. So, this Q is the heat that is supplied to the system. This expression holds a very important role in all our problems, in all kind of problems which you are going to do related to the first law of thermodynamics and hence the significance of this expression and the terms which correspond to the numerator and denominator must be remembered. Do not make, conf do not confuse yourself while writing the expression for the total work and the heat supply to the system. Always remember that this is the sum of all work that is coming out or getting into the system. However, this Q is only the Q which you are supplying to the system as heat. You will not consider any negative Q in the denominator and you will consider all positive and negative terms of work in the numerator. This multiplied with 100 will give you the percentage efficiency.